Nice elevator. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and maybe even his wife. He's finally rubbing shoulders with the almost looking Oh shit, they pro it probably closes a little bit too fast. <laughs> I can imagine... Whoa. Oh, that's a burn coal. But I can, I can imagine that elevator being a little bit hazardous. <laughs> I can imagine some accidents happening there. Uh, I think elevators usually close slower than that. The complexion so gentle white. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's let her Doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. You think she'd have gotten the hit after those hatchet men redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average kid broad and never was doing shit. She might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to split a couple of oceans between him and Captain. What oceans would those be? Nope. Not right now. Actually, maybe I should. Okay, if I get another call, I'll do it. Because we're about to finish traffic. And... I think the calls you get are dependent on... They they change depending on the desk you're in, so it's probably worth the try one at least. I probably should sure have done at least a couple, but I don't think we're gonna have enough time for that now. Oh well, we're here. <laughs> Silver screen props, 10:39 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And there are unnecessary the decoration of doors there. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Christ! Uh, I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? I have to hear about that. I just had a little soundstage out back. Ooh. The way. You got a little bit of jumpy there, eh? You have to hide Marlon, you big. T fat tub of shit. Huh? Huh? Alright, let's see where he leads us. Hmm. Interesting. The Happy General. Night Train Again. Amazing titles. What's this got to do with me? Yeah, we're taking this Don't try over, bitch. Knucklehead. Damn, we're kind of jerks, aren't we? <laughs> we're bullies. Alright, let's check this shit out. Clearly. <gasps> See that, that eye there? It looks like a black eye. Look, look, look how big it is. It looks like a black eye. Oh my god. I've cracked the case. They tried to give her a black eye. I figured it out, you sick son of a bitch. That was symbolism for your desperate plan to give her a black eye that I just concocted. Doping a 15 year old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Or that. Never mind. Hmm. More prop heads. This is far too convenient to not be something. <sighs> A skull. You see that? You see that, huh? You got plastered prop head dolls and a skull? Yeah, that's right, I'm looking at you. I know what you're about, man. Um, I'm not personally into necrophilia, but... Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. <laughs> that was funny. There's a room on the other side. Huh. Ooh. Oh, well. Find a way into that peep dance, Phelps. I'll stay here. Interesting. All right, you do that. Oh, gonna keep him company how? Why did you have to mention he was a pervert, too? 
It seems a little fishy there, partner. If that is your real name. Hmm. Oh. Heard a ding ding. Yeah, newspaper. Dope floods streets. Cops chase war surplus contraband. Narco squad said new shipments deadly. Overdose deaths hit all time high. All right. And new story. some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like a drink? Scotch. Straight out. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. You want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have. Yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putt. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. And how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Jeez. <laughs> so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. And put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little bit. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work this way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen. I want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey. Hey. You don't like my offer? The Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Well, that wasn't obvious. Alright. These people just announcing their shit in public. I mean, Jesus. Could you really just do that all you want at the time? <laughs> uh, alright. Moving on. Oh. That doesn't look real. It's not real! Oh my god. You fake. I sure showed you. Oh, jeez, call it gate. Relax, man. What's this? <gasps> A Jungle tape. Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Okay. What about it? Oh, camera. Oh. Or this. Oh, Jessica Hamilton. What? Oh. So what happened to the film of Hamilton screen test? Good question, Cole. What did happen? Oh, hello. Now I see what's going on here. Huh. Interesting. Alright then. Uh, toilet. Alright, he wants to wash some poop, too. Interesting. Uh, is that it here? Yeah, 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 it's the other room. I get it. Alright. I think... Is that all? Okay. Let's see. There's something else here. Maybe it's one of these heads. There's got to be something over these heads. I just know it. They wouldn't show me this many without there being something to it. You may think they're just a bunch of useless props, but... You've got another thing coming. Oh. Hold on, what's that ding ding? Oh. 
Oh, see? Yeah, look what look look what I was doing, thinking with my head there. Yeah, that's right. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, go, it's ahead. There we go. Get the hell back in there. Do this shit. Alright, Marlin. Fess up, man. What are you doing with all these plastered heads? Fucking them? You ever do any work for Tell me right now. Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. Oh, yeah. Warner Brothers. So you think you're big shot now, eh? Yeah. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production, though. Yeah. I haven't seen him around here in a while. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I know you're lying, Hop Good. Bishop was here, and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterward. You come in here without a warrant, and now you start throwing your weight around? Yeah, well, I got a lot of weights, buddy. So I'm gonna keep throwing until you tell me. Uh... A 15-year-old girl told me how she was drugged and molested at a casting house. She didn't really say she was molested. A drinks cabinet who'd give me something while I will break your fucking jaw should... off good. Whoa, okay, she Jesus. <laughs> a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible uh -huh. for what goes on here. McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea okay. where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Okay. Your advice to him would be to leave town. That that seems pretty sound to me. Okay then. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on Eighth Street. Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. But it might be a good spot to hide. Mm hmm. Doing good What's so far, Marlin. You and June Ballard. Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something to me. And like now you've dropped down. All right. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. Oh, I very much doubt that. Let's see. Uh. Do I use the the check? Uh, it doesn't implicate him though. Matching Bishop's whereabouts. Uh, let me check that again. You about are blackmailing Bishop? You got nothing on me. My hands are clean on this. It has nothing to do with. Ballard and him. Okay. Um. You can a few props or sweep the floors if you got nothing better to do. Uh huh. Just keep talking your shit, buddy. Oh, I don't. Ah, oh, shit. That's all. I had to now, try. Buddy. We're taking I had to in. try. Bell. Ah, damn it. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps, and a very important one. Mm. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlin? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. Oh, is that a threat? The movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. But I won't just We're shoot him. Very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. I think it would. I think it would speed a lot of things up if we just killed him. Oh. Johnny Goldberg, you work for Mickey C. That's right, detective. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today, by any chance? No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. 
This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you, boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, you won't. Oh, stay. okay. We could be tough. You've had your huh? sense worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Ooh. Naturally, rub her out. He's gonna get upset. In the what pants. Do you think Bishop would be here. We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood too. Those two guys Ooh. have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a okay. very generous man. I'm only sure thing. You once, gentlemen. Stay out of this. This is a police matter. Well, actually, yeah, this is Bishop. this is for us. Never mind. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite than smug son of a bitch. Ooh. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. Yeah, you tell him, partner. The only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop. Oh, you stay away from me. snap. Now run along back to your boss. <laughs> He's intimidated. Damn. What good boys you are. Yeah, you lackey fucks. That's right. I'm sure they won't retaliate anyway now. Due to anger. Oh, okay. You know what? I don't take kindly to that. Oh. Damn it. I don't take kindly to your bullshit. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. That's right. Fuck you. Yeah. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. You know what? Just for that. Fuck you. That's right. That's how we do it in my town, bitch. That's how we do it in my neighborhood, motherfucker. Onto the movie set, Phelps. Let's roll. Dr. Joe style. They say work with traffic is like watching paint dry. You know how to piss people off. God damn you, dude. Gun down cops in broad daylight. The cafe really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child monster. That's our job, unfortunately. Oh. Why unfortunately? I mean... Don't you want to help people, man? Oh, God. Damn it. Oh shit, I forgot about the damn it. Oh well. Let's see. Let's get the hell over here. This feels very unfitting. Oh, okay, there we go. It's going away now. There's the slippery bastard now. No. God okay, look at him slipping it. all over the place. He should be easy to catch if he's that slippery. Let's see. Well, I guess slippery just means it. Oh damn, it's gonna be hard to touch. All right. Anyway, I'm not thinking about that. Let's get this son of a bitch. Oh, you think you can hop over that? I can hop over too. Yeah, how do you like that? I went to the police academy for that bitch. That's right. Oh my god. Look at my, look at my guy just double stepping over the place. Whoa, whoa, how the hell did you just teleport over there? Jesus. That did not seem right. Oh no. God damn, this place really needs to get built or rebuilt or <laughs> something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, you son of a bitch. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, go fuck yourself. That's what I say. Wow, he's like, he's so slow, but yet. He's somehow way ahead of me. Like, okay, now he speeds up, of course. 
his 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 rate of speed just depends on how close I am, apparently. That makes sense. You can outsmart me. Oh. Mark Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't. We didn't actually get a semen yet. You we don't know. Me, then McAfee's goons will too. Oh, we need. We need to get out of here. Who? All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. God damn. I know another way out of this You're place. a good officer, man. Stop trying to kill people. Fuck. That's my job. Christ detected, they're trying to kill me! You yeah, know shit. Uh, how the hell do we think we're gonna get out of this? There's look how many of them there are. We saw like at least two cars pull up. I mean Jesus. You think we're gonna get out of this? Good thing I got headshots of steel. Or lead, actually. Alright, let's pick that up. Alright, that was nowhere near it, but whatever. Alright. Oh. Yeah, okay. There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. Okay. Oh, Jesus. It's like he's just dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we really just do that? Oh god. Oh, shit. Wow. Spray and pray, much. Ah, nice try, genius. <laughs> uh, Alright. What do you hillbillies want? Oh, fuck, I shot his hat off. <laughs> Come on, poke your head out. Don't make me wait. No! Wow. Okay, this is... Anyone over here? There we go. Fucking asshole. Mm, boop. Okay. I think that was a headshot. <laughs> Alright. God, that's stupid. Let's go. Nope. Okay. Shit, how far did he go? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh my. Get you out of here. Nope. Nice try, buddy. Don't know why you poke your heads out like that. You are stupid. Whoa, okay, that was... Cole, powers of... Morphing through objects. Alright. A lot of acrobatics this episode. Oh, great. Now I have to deal with, sh with assholes like us. I'm the only cop who should be around. Marlon, what are you doing? Freaking God damn it, I keep shooting their hats off. That's right, take that. Shoot your... God, God damn it! Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Shit. Man, that's really not smart saying close those explosives there. In fact, why the hell are there explosives set on a movie set? <laughs> oh, I could have done that before. Oh, before. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. That was kind of a waste. Don't worry, I missed your headshot. That's right. I'm gonna shoot your hat off. Oh, wow. <laughs> what the hell? He was like holding his hands out, like, don't shoot me, and then he just dies. <laughs> What? Did he just faint? And that just kills him? <laughs> Where's his gun? 
Aha. Doing this, doing this Russian style now. AK, let's go. I got the flank, bitches. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, mow down. Yeah, you got nothing on me. Who else? Oh, okay. Aha, you didn't see me coming, did you? Oh. Aha, idiot. Get out maneuvered. He <laughs> just he binds of bodies everywhere. <laughs> what the fuck? Catches a fast ticket to Quentin for stash rape and attempted murder, so he gets to spend the next fifteen years playing sissy instead of sticking with the little girls. That is justice. If she's fifteen. I mean, let's not exaggerate this. Felt such a reputation. I'm not going to be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. You're good working with yourself. Yeah, fuck you. I'm done with you. And, yeah, you were okay. I mean, kind of dumb, but... Whatever. Really? We're just gonna part ways just like that? Alright. <laughs> this guy again. What does he want now? Phelps, Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops Ooh. who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Go right ahead. Get in. I don't, it's, I don't think it's his him. choice. I don't even work for him anymore. What the fuck? I'm my own man now. Hmm. Ooh, nighttime. Kinky. You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? A hop head. So I'll hate it. Okay. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing, I can understand, but this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? I don't know. You move. Gyrate. Cool, Leroy. Be nice to them. You'll like this place. They treat you right. Do they? Like a table. What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get a table ready for you. No one's so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Racist. Can you beat that? Oh. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Negro. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, she is. She has the next day. No one ever says Come nigger, on, Cole, though. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's Ooh. pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Jesus. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not. Get your paws right. off me, you damn dirty you ape. A nice club here. Don't spoil it. You will follow me, detective. Man, I just sit here and casually observe it all. <laughs> it was my only real friend. Same with Bukowski. We went through it all. Oh, hey, Sorry, it's that guy. To me. Oh, sorry. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's mm. someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. Why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Just in case you guys... Who do you oh. think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, dog. That's why... How's business? <laughs> <laughs> Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give us something before her performance. Blow it up, Oh, boy. boy. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fixit to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? Well, very nice. 
<laughs> Very nice night so far. Alright, in case you guys didn't get that yet, he's racist. Oh, okay. Just a little bit off sync there. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they don't say nigger at all. They haven't done that yet. I don't know if that was just like a choice by Rockstar or like... I imagine Negro was pretty popular too, but you know, I'm just... Bishop takes the fall, but Hopgood could have told you what tipped him over the edge. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fuck you. 